Hi, I'm Darren. I'm a blogger at Pro Blogger and Digital Photography School. So my big fear uh, really was way back when I started Pro Blogger in 2004. I'd been blogging for a couple of years. I'd started 30 blogs by this stage and I decided to start a blog about blogging to, to share my experience. And when I started that blog, I, I kind of brainstormed topics that I wanted to talk about. And I came up with you know, topics on finding readers and building engagement. And one of the, the posts that I knew I had to write right, right from the start was how to start a blog. But there was this little voice in the back of my head that said, you're not technical enough to write that post because I'm, I didn't really ever see myself as a technical blogger. And I had these little worries in the back of my head that maybe if I wrote that post the wrong way, it would destroy my credibility as a blogger. And so I decided to put it on the back burner for a while and I began to procrastinate on writing it. I, I kind of said, I'll gain some more experience. I'll do some experiments. Uh, a year later, I still wanted to write the post, but I still had this, this fear that I would be uh, exposed as someone who didn't really know what he was talking about. So I put it off again, and then I put it off again. It took me 13 years to write that post. I'd written 8,000 other posts by this stage, uh, and I'd never written that post. Now, it was crazy for me to have that fear because I'd started 30 blogs, even back in 2004. I had started plenty of blogs and I was technical enough. So it was only last year I actually wrote that post, a complete guide to starting a blog. And the result of doing it was that um, a lot of readers got helped. I started getting emails from people saying, thank you, you saved me, you helped me to, to actually achieve something. And I started to make money from that post as well because it's got some affiliate links. That post made $10,000 in its first month, which blew me away. And then I had this kind of little voice in the back of my head, it was like $10,000 a month for 13 years. What, what did I miss out on uh, by not doing that? And that actually spurred me on to look at the other things that I'd been procrastinating on, the other things that I had been listening to those little voices on and not doing things with. And in the last year, I've knocked off a lot of those things as well. So I guess my message for you today is uh, try to silence those little voices uh, and uh, take a step back from them and get those things done, even, even when you've got that fear.